How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Adrock, and I'm back with another Freelancer Breakdown, and this time featuring Asana. Asana is a close-range fighter who just likes to bounce off every wall she can find and stick you with the pokey end of her laser sword. It's It, it hurts a, a lot. It's kind of awesome. And irritating. But hey, if you want to find out what makes her tick and wonder why I'm also slightly happy about this and a little pissed off, just keep listening. We'll, we'll do the abilities and the thoughts. Asana's first ability is Whirling Blade, a blast phase no cooldown ability that unleashes spinning strike that hits everyone in the arc for direct damage. You will gain 8 energy per enemy hit. Modifications include Dancing Blade, which will give you additional energy per enemy hit, Sword Master, which will increase the damage for each enemy hit, and Leech Blade, which will restore health for each enemy hit. Asana's second ability is Rebounding Charge, a dash phase, four turn cooldown ability which will dash you in a direction, doing direct damage to the first enemy you hit. If you do hit an enemy, you will automatically chase them, and you can dash this thing off of walls, kind of like Lockwood's abilities. It'll also ignore cover. You'll gain 10 energy if you hit an enemy. Modifications include Charge Capacitor, which will gain extra energy if you hit an enemy, Vault, which will bounce off the first target hit, Nimble Protector, which will gain you shield for the turn, and any allies you dash over will also get shields. And Fleet Footed, it'll increase the range of each bounce by one. Asana's third ability is Stand and Fight, a blast phase four turn cooldown ability, which will lash out a surge of energy that deals direct damage to the enemy and roots them. You will gain 10 energy if you hit an enemy. Modifications include Shining Blade, which will increase the energy gain by five. Skewer, which will pierce through the first enemy. Both enemies hit will be rooted. Atomic Edge, which increases the damage. And Walk and Fight, which will reduce the cooldown by two and will slow the target hit instead of rooting them. Asana's fourth ability is Retribution, a prep phase three turn cooldown free action ability, which will create a nanite shield that will absorb damage this turn and will deal direct indirect damage back to any enemy who hits you with direct damage. It'll also ignore cover. You will gain 8 energy per enemy hit. Modifications include Iron Will, which will increase the shield strength, Immolation, which will increase the retribution damage, Safeguard, which when you do activate it will gain all in your allies shields as well, and Watchful Defense. Enemies that are damaged by retribution are also revealed for the turn. Asana's ultimate ability is Guardian Angel, a prep phase no cooldown provided you have 100 energy as always, ability that must target a nearby ally. It'll grant you and the targeted ally shields. In the dash phase, you'll teleport over to them, doing direct damage to any enemies in the area. Modifications include Savior, which can leap to any ally anywhere on the map, Archangel, which will increase the shield's strength, and Lasting Protection, which will increase the duration of the shield by an additional turn for two turns total. Okay, so here are my thoughts. At first, I got stomped by Asana a lot, I got wrecked really early on, and I figured, this is just a dumb character, blah blah blah, and then I, then I played her. And then she became wicked fun to play. As of this recording, she seems to be an all-around community favorite slash hated Lancer, mostly due to her weirdly high survivability as a fighter, her weirdly high damage as a pseudo tank, and ridiculous mobility. To be fair, her cooldowns are higher to make up for that, but you can get, actually get around that later on. I'll tell you how. Asana can feel just as home as a lockdown assassin type of lancer, or beef herself up with shields and just wade right into everything. Unlike Titus or Garrison, who seem a little too far on one side or the other of damage or survivability, Asana seems to fit right in that nice sweet spot, and it has crazy synergy with multiple lancers, including being in, just being deadly if she's backed up with any of the supports, unlike the other previous two characters I mentioned. It's incredibly tempting to just go utter ham on Asana like a teenager with a sports car or unsupervised access to the internet, but never go full ham. Trust me. Wise management of your cooldowns and an eye for positioning will make you an absolute terror on the, on the map. Whirling Blade is pretty decent damage for the space it covers. There are times when someone thinks they're safe and they'll dash right out to the edge of it, and then the arc connects for a kill. It's pretty fun. And while I should, by default, like Leech Blade by its health component, I actually prefer Dancing Blade for Asana for faster ults. Swordmaster feels a little bit basic by comparison, and while never, well, extra damage is never a bad thing, I've noticed that I desire mods that can beef up the rest of my kit rather than just raw damage, which can be mitigated in some way, shape, or form. 
Most people will tend to use rebounding charge as soon as they see somebody. Just do it now. <laughs> Don't. Most of your enemies are going to anticipate this, and they're going to punish you hard for it. Instead, stagger or swap its use with stand and fight. Or, you know, wait a turn and see where everyone is before you just get up all up in the grill. Charge capacitor will let you get your old out faster, which is never bad. Vault is meh. And as is fleet footed, which I personally will take over vault if you typically find yourself having to cover more ground a lot. Nimble Protector can save an ally en route to being awesome, as well as give you a small boost to your own shields when you arrive, and that's typically what I will choose over the rest. And again, why rush in with rebounding charge when you can just root an enemy with stand and fight and just, you know, saunter up and smash their face in? Plus, you can stagger or, you know, swap them with each other just to make your enemies pull their hair out for guessing wrong. It's pretty fun. Time stand and fight with other roots and slows, and it's enough to make someone rage and just make them realize how futile their existence is as you just permanently stick them to one spot. Unfortunately, it seems that in multiple cases, Tryon doesn't know what else to give a Lancer for mods, because why else would you take Shining Blade, Atomic Edge, or Walk and Fight, which are not terrible with extra energy, DPS, and a shorter cooldown slash slow respectively, when you can root multiple people with Skewer. Considering how often people are close enough together, Skewer is almost mandatory for Asana. Too many other Lancers can abuse this energy, and it sets herself up fabulously as well. On the flip side, you can take almost any mob with Retribution and just be okay. Iron Will will just save your life with the extra shield. Immolation will surprise enemies with return damage, while your allies will be pleasantly surprised with the help from Safeguard. Watchful Defense can actually be pretty useful if you have annoyances like the Nyx, Suzuki, Greater Demolitions, Inc. that are constantly thinking away at you. I see you now. It ain't gonna be long. And the reason you want to take anything that gives you extra energy for a sauna and constantly be as active and obnoxious with her is all because of Guardian Angel. This ult is obnoxious. Not because of its middling damage. Meh, there are other ults that do more damage, like Nyx's Pulse Fusion, Fusion Pulse. It's an extra dash ability to an ally and it shields a sauna and the ally. That is stupid. It cray cray. I I I've been watching Gravity Falls a lot. It cray cray. Throw in Savior, and you can get straight back into the game after a death, and you still just might make it in time to save someone. Archangel will only make you will only make your allies happier to see you, and lasting protection, while seeming pretty weak, considering it's only shielding a little bit of damage, can be really nice if you expect your enemies to go, oh, wait, wait, she's ulting, let's hold off for a turn, and then we'll kill them because the shield will fall off. No, you get an extra turn of a shield, and it can help, you know, save a life. And finally, for Catalysts, I tend to run Turtle Tech, which can either stack on top of Retribution or piss people off more by using it the very next turn. Fetter, I like a lot for the Root, which will annoy people again. Ah, and takes their sweet, sweet, salty rage tears. And finally, I prefer using Brain Juice over Second Wind. While your gut reaction is, ooh, I can stay alive longer with Second Wind, Brain Juice will actually cut your cooldowns in half, meaning those three and four turn cooldowns are, in all, are now two and one which keeps you going on the move faster, and keeps your pain train going longer, which keeps you doing more damage, which keeps you doing more ults, which keeps people off more, which means you just win, 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 no matter what, forgive the pun, and just wreck face with her. And that about covers it this week for Freelancer Breakdown with Asana. As always, leave any critiques, questions, comments you have, and anywhere you see this video, be it Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere, I'm pretty much probably going to see it, no matter what, or someone will tell me about it, and I always want to make this series better for anyone that watches it, that gets into Atlas Reactor and everything else. And I'm also part of the, the Tryon Creators World, I believe is what it's called. On top of that, that also means stuff like uh, closed beta passes and whatnot, so if you watch these videos in the future, or you know, listen to Quarter Up or Slash Yell on Sundays at 5pm Pacific Time on twitch.tv slash qtimes, you might have a chance to, you know, get some cool stuff like, you know, prizes and stuff from Tryon World Games like Trove and Alice Reactor and Rift. You know, just, just, just saying, just putting it out there. But until then, this is Adrock. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys later. Peace.